Right guys, so welcome to another video, and apologies for the absolute mess of a bed I sleep in, um, yeah, just ignore that, but I actually can't fit this in my arena, um, this just came through the post from Toys and Mass, it's a huge box, um, of elite figures, it's a whole elite set, um, probably not who it is from the thumbnail, but I'll keep it as a surprise anyway, but I ordered the whole set, of uh, like 120 or something, and, um, yeah, do they have to put toys on the goddamn box, <laughs> just so embarrassing when you have to pick it up. But, uh, yeah, I thought I would just open this on my bed and I'll show you all the figures in the ring. So, uh, you yeah, know, let's go. Now, I did have some confusion with Toys and Masks because um, I thought they were sending as a thank you both Kevin Owens elites, but I want to fight anyone one. But they said they sent the Chase one because they thought it would be better and everyone wants that. But even though like, I wanted to fight anyone, so they should have really asked which one we want. that way. So, let's go and have a look. What have we got in here? Copper Bludgeon. Copper Bludgeon. Wait, is that the Kevin Owens I want? Did they actually send the right attire? Here we have the Luke Harper from the set. Uh, as you can tell, it's Elite 66. Uh, yeah, we have the Luke Harper looking awesome. Completely outdated now, but whatever. And then we have the Rowan from the same set. This is actually quite heavy. Here we have Rowan. Looking awesome. Please say they sent the right attire. Ah, oh, it's the Kill Mania one. Shit, I don't want this figure. I'm going to sell this. I want to fight anyone attire on the back. Ah, oh, that's annoying. But uh, here we've got Kevin Owens. Didn't want this one. That's a shame. Here we have Nikki Cross. My first women's figure. But I want to collect Sanity, so I had to get this. And I think this looks awesome. I could use this in the fed. Be a nice surprise to use a woman. Next we have one I was debating about getting. And it's the uh, Kurt Angle. But I think this looks really awesome. I'm going to do a head swap. Add on the Elite 59 hoodie. And I think this will look really sick. So yeah, Kurt Angle. And last but not least, the one I mainly wanted, I think. It's the Elite 66 AJ. Looking awesome. Love the head scan. New WWE title. Uh, well, not updated, obviously. The awesome hand, the awesome attire. And, uh, yeah, really need a new one. So we have the whole Elite 66 set and a free piece of cardboard. So, um, yeah, disappointed I did not get the Owens, but um, I guess we'll go take these over to the ring. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. The strength. The strength. So, yeah, we have everyone just lined up here. Looking awesome. So, uh, yeah, let's get to cracking these open. I missed. So, yeah, guys, uh, as I said at the start of the video, uh, I will not be opening this Kevin Owens. I'll be selling it. Uh, it'll be on eBay, probably. Ask the guys on Instagram if anyone wants it as well. So, I'll put this to the side. Um, even though it is BFW WrestleMania 3 coming up, I'll only be able to use it for the, that event. So, I want to fight anyone if I, even though it's displayed on the box, I don't know what's up with that. So yeah, kind of annoyed I got that one, uh, but whatever, let's just get over it. Um, no, only spent like £120, didn't get the stuff I ordered, but you know, whatever. Um, yeah, so let's go, and let's go ladies first, shall we? We'll go from the top. Nikki Cross, not too excited, but uh, I needed to get it, so Nikki Cross, let's open you up. So yeah guys, uh, here is the Nikki Cross out of the packaging, and I never thought I would get a woman's figure, but uh, this is actually pretty cool. Uh, it's got the rips in the jeans, it's got the awesome Scottish flag on her um, vest type thing. This thing is removable, and I uh, saw the glasses, she doesn't really wear glasses that much anymore. But um, it's going to be a quick review, because I'm sure you've seen this before, but I do have the Eric Young, Just Need the Killian Dean, and Alexander Wolf. I'll probably never get the Alexander Wolf with the prices it's going at, because I think it's just been found. And it's like the peak done, it'll just be like over £100 or something, but... Uh, Let's take these off. Got the nice design on the back. Same design as Killian Dane. Obviously, she is in love with Killian Dane in real life. Um, but, uh, yeah, really awesome uh, Nikki Cross figure. So, interesting women's figure I have here. Um, I think she's really awesome. Really underrated, honestly. I hope she goes to SmackDown in the shake-up and goes with Sanity. Uh, that would be sick. 
So yeah guys, really awesome Nikki Crossley, definitely recommend it, uh, only if you're getting the whole Sanity, unless you want to use it like, in the women's division, but I probably won't get any of the women's figures, unless it's like Zelina Vega or something, or uh, Lana Elite, I don't know, who stands at ringside, but um, yeah, Nikki Cross, so now we're going to the big man himself, the guy who always forgets his lines, Kurt Angle. So yeah guys, here is the Kurt Angle, and this is really cool, I think I prefer this to Elite 59, just because the knee pads allow more articulation. And the attire is really cool, is the finger pointing hands, you know, the women's figures don't have it, changeable hands, because you know men are superior and all that. Uh, that was just a joke, if there's any feminists watching, don't kill me please. But yeah, he has the awesome uh, nose picking hands, and the floppy wrists, so that's cool, the wrist tape and everything. But uh, I'll go ahead and put on his other hands, because I think I prefer those. So yeah, here he is with those hands looking awesome, and uh, obviously the crappy raw t-shirt, which I'll just put on a crowd member or something. But um, yeah, the Kurt Angle looking awesome. I'm gonna get the Elite 59 hoodie actually, and um, put it on him if I can find it. Oh, of course, it's all the way at the back of the box. Put it. Yeah, here's the Kurt Angle. Let me know which one you prefer. I'm gonna put on the medals. I might do a head swap. I don't know. Uh, let's just put on the jacket. Never thought I'd get another Kurt Angle Elite. Cause I don't really need another one, but I really like the look of this one. Yeah, this looks awesome with the hoodie. That looks really cool. That looks awesome. Yeah, look at that Kurt Angle. Might do a head swap in the next fix up video. Don't know yet, but uh, yeah, Kurt Angle right there. And Nikki Cross, so we'll put them to the side. And next we move on. Hop, Rowan, Bludgeon Brothers. I'll open these two together, do a dual review. Oh, I just cut my finger trying to fix this goddamn figure. Oh. So yeah, we opened these guys anyway, and uh, the Harper torso was so glued, I could see the glue, and I had to snap it with my bare hands. More strength on show, and I nipped it there. I don't know if you can see. Nah, I'm not strong. It's just it was really glue. Look, you can see the glue. You can see the glue there. A little white dot. That was annoying. But yeah, these figures are really cool. Um, I can't bother to put the cool on Harper again. Uh, but uh, Rowan is awesome. I love the uh, mask and the hammers and everything. Uh, his to his torso's a bit loose, which I can fix, because it's quite a big figure. Um, yeah, we have Rowan, and then we have Harper, who I've barely seen, because I've been trying to snap it. But uh, from what I can see, this is really cool. Um, I'm going to put on one of his fist hands. That's how I like it. I like to have one hand open, one hand a fist. Oh, I thought I dropped it. But uh, yeah, the mallets are a really cool accessory. So Bludgeon Brothers, even though they're out there, definitely recommended. Can't wait to start using these in the Fed, hopefully. And uh, yeah, so we have the Bludgeon Brothers, Angle and Nikki, and now on to the phenomenal AJ Styles. Sorry if I'm being quiet, there's people sleeping in the house, and I don't want to wake them up and get wrong. So guys, here's the AJ Styles, and this is probably my favourite one out of the set. This looks really cool, I love the attire. I'm not sure whether this blue stripe is meant to go down here as well, I don't think so, but... Yeah, the head scan is huge, but I don't mind it. It's not that bad, actually. New WWE Kyle needed that. Crappy rubber shirt for the audience members. Cool. And uh, the awesome Phenomenal Hands, which I'm sure you've seen use. I'll probably use them quite a bit. But, um, yeah, awesome major styles. So, you guys, here are all the accessories I got uh, with the figures. And uh, some of the on the figures. But they're uh, really awesome set. I'm looking more forward to the 67, honestly, which I will be ordering off ringside soon. Um, but if I was to rank these, uh, I'll probably put Nikki Cross last, um, mainly because, you know, they're all great figures, but, uh, yeah, then I'll put the Bludgeon Brothers, uh, great detail, but, uh, quite outdated, and, uh, they have some articulation problems, but, um, I think the legs look a bit weird, but that's about it. Uh, I love this Kurt Angle fix-up so much, it looks so awesome, and I probably will do a head swap in the next episode of, of whatever, whenever I do fix-ups. But uh, I love this AJ Styles most of all, mainly because I needed a new one since my Top Talents one. Oh god, I'm dropping everything. It was ruined from Gene Addy's shirts and um, some weird arms that I got with mine. And uh, I accidentally acetone some of the ta tattoo off today, so that's even better. But uh, yeah, awesome set, guys. Uh, be sure to leave a like on this video. Sorry if I've been quiet. Uh, right, as I stop, right as I start filming this clip, everyone leaves the house. <laughs> so if I did it now, I could have been a bit louder, but whatever. Um, yeah, let me know which one you like from this set, and I uh, should have another unboxing out later on in the week of some NXT TakeOver Elite, which I can't wait to get. But, um, yeah, follow me on Instagram, Apollo's underscore UK, 
and uh, I'll see you all in the next video.